Before you start exporting layers, you should collapse layers under each body part. Select top layer, right click and merge visible. Repeat this process for every single layer. Please remember to name newly created layers. This will help you organize your files later. After you finish merging and naming layers, save your file again. When you save your files, Madbox will create new folder with newly created layers. You can delete all the files that named background. You don't need those. You may also use export options in Madbox. So you can select the format, type and location where the file should go. Also, you may merge your layers here as well. Next, we need to open Photoshop and all the layers and clean them a bit before merging all of them into one texture. As you can see, I like to use Mixer Brush a lot because it samples colors from surrounding area and fills empty patches with missing color. And now you can start combining all the layers. Select first Matbox layer, Ctrl A, Happy, go to the main layer and paste in place. Repeat this process over and over again. Use simple shortcuts. Ctrl A to select, Ctrl C to copy and Shift Ctrl V to paste in place. Next, save newly created texture to the proper folder. My character dress has uneven edges on the bottom of the dress and the sleeves. I need to create this effect with opacity map. So I'll create new layer and paint all the areas that are invisible black and the rest white. So black hides, white shows. Next, I need to save my new opacity map and open 3D Studio Max. Hit M to open Material Editor to apply newly created texture and opacity map. Select character and apply shader to the character. Please change preview option from standard to high quality if you don't see your character as whole. Please remember, your texture will look better when you render and all the details will be visible. Next, you can rig, skin and animate your character. I did mine ahead of time. Thank you for watching and good luck.